What's going on investors? My name is Emmanuel and we have some breaking news regarding Workhorse and the USPS contract. And I'm sorry to disappoint you, it's not the news that you've been waiting for since summer. This in fact is not good news at all. And as of recording this video, Workhorse is now currently down over 17% in after hours trading. And this is not looking good for Workhorse and it's not looking good for Workhorse investors. So in this video, we'll be looking at the breaking news that just got released. And also, I want to try and understand the viability of the company that actually broke the news. I'll also summarize some of my current thoughts regarding Workhorse's financials. And I want to try and figure out, like, what is the future for Workhorse, okay? So with that said, join my Discord group. The link is in the description below. It's free, and I think you will enjoy it. Trust me. Everyone in my Discord group is lit. And we've already actually started to discuss this news that broke a couple of hours ago. And also, don't forget to destroy that like button. It lets me know that you enjoy this type of content. And if and finally, if you are new to the channel, then make sure you smash that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay up to date with all the stocks that I'm buying, selling, and all the stocks that are on my watch list. So with that said, let's jump straight into the article. So the news broke via trucks.com. And I must admit, I have never, <laughs> I've never heard of them before. And I'm not entirely sure or how reliable this source is, but regardless, it has had a great impact on the share price of Workhorse. And trust me, trucks.com right now is currently trending on Twitter. So definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, they have had a huge impact. So it's worth us taking a look at this article. So they said, already years behind schedule, the US Postal Service announced another delay in its efforts to award a more than $6 billion contract to replace its fleet of aging mail trucks. So we all know that this is true, okay? There was no lies there. The USPS contract seems to have been going on for almost a decade at this point. We've been expecting it. It's been delayed from since 2018. You know, constant delays, constant pushbacks. Again, this is not news, okay? But according to trucks.com, they are saying that the USPS have announced another delay. Now, I went on the USPS official newsroom page on their website, and as you can see, I can't really see anything announced. You know, I also then went to their homepage. Maybe they haven't updated it onto their news forum web uh, page. And again, you can't see nothing. So at this stage, I can't really see this information directly from the source, which is USPS. But let's see what trucks.com has to say further. So the postal service told trucks.com that it ex that it expects to reach a contract with one or more of the teams that are bidding for the business in the federal government's second fiscal quarter of 2021. So that works out to the first quarter of next year. So I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure why the postal service will be talking to trucks.com, but then not address this on their website or make an official announcement to an official news website. So it does seem very, very strange, but they carried on to say, previously the agency said it would award the business early this year, but then pushed it back to the end of 2020 because of the C. Roney. It missed several targets for awarding the contract in 2019 and 2018 amid continuing C. Roney concerns. And in order to provide for the capital investment activities and required approvals, the program, the program schedule has been revised and a decision is now planned for quarter two of fiscal year 2021. That multiple teams of the vehicle manufacturers once, once competed for the contract, but many have dropped out over the years. Currently, there are three teams. They had a deadline to submit their proposals in July, at which, at which time the agency said it would start to evaluate the plans and launch negotiations. They, and they're going to further detail regarding the last three contenders, which we already know. One is Workhorse, the other is Carsan, and I believe the, what's the, other, the other one's called Oshkosh. Oshkosh. <laughs> now, understandably so, a lot of people are now getting onto trucks.com. You know, and one guy actually posted a question. He asked this, he said, simply, who is your source? <laughs> the last time the contract was delayed, it was announced by the USPS not trucks.com and then they replied the usps press office well as you saw i went on their press website and nothing was announced so their reply to the guy saying it was the usps press is a bit dodgy another guy asked q2 of fiscal year 2021 means by the end of calendar year 2020 correct and then they replied no 
the USPS said that would be the first calendar of 2021. They were very specific. Why are the USPS only speaking to trucks.com? I mean, <laughs> this is laughable at this point. But another guy actually asked this. He said the USPS, the US Postal Service announced another delay in its efforts to award a more than $6 billion contract to replace its fleet of aging mail trucks. So this is this is a quote that he took from the article. So and he says, does the USPS only make announcement by the way of trucks.com? Great question. Did they announce anywhere else? Another great question. Or did you contact the NGD contract rep every day or have some type of agreement with them to get notified? Again, these are all fantastic questions. And their reply is hilarious. The a reply is from a guy called Jerry, Jerry Hirsch, which I'm sure I'm almost positive is a fake name because if not, he will be getting hunted down as we speak. But he said, I check with the press office frequently. We have been following this story for years. We might be the only news organization that asks. What a clown. <laughs> I mean, what else can I say? Look, I'm not, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna waste any more time. This article, in my opinion, is absolutely baseless. I'm not entirely sure what trucks.com, what their true intentions are with this article. And you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if Fuzzy Panda was behind all of this. Do you remember Fuzzy Panda? It's crazy. But the reality is investors. I already told you guys in the stocks that I sold video that I took my entire profits last week uh, from Workhorse and I sold it at $28 and some change. And my entire position is gone. I've taken my profits. I am out of this company. And this is precisely why. I mean, take away the USPS contract, right? Put that aside for a second. Take away, you know, them receiving advice from Hitachi. Again, put that to the side. And also take away the fact that ARK Invest are for some reason continuing to buy more shares of this company. Let's just put those three factors aside. Take all that away and what do you have? You have a company that has been around for years. They failed to deliver on their C-Series vans. You also have a company that made only 500,000 in revenue for Q3. They lost 84 million in earnings. They have one of the worst balance sheets. They have negative cash flow but they somehow still managed to pay themselves a fortune in stock-based compensation. I mean, this company really is surviving on a pipe dream. Yes, it is a pipe dream. The future of this company hangs on the balance of them securing a USPS contract. And that's exactly what it is. That's what it boils down to. And if they don't secure the contract or even a small part of that contract, then unfortunately, I do see them potentially joining Nikola in the land of the penny stock. <laughs> I, yeah, I see them in penny stock land. And if you're still invested in Workhorse, then you know what? I wish you all the very best and I hope you can get some good sleep at night. But with all that said, please do your due diligence before you decide to invest in any stock. Remember, I am not a financial advisor. So please view my content as purely educational and not investing advice. And if you do want to learn about investing in stocks, then there are some useful links in the description below, including some books that I highly recommend. But before you go, don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to see more content from me. Remember, I want to see you in my Discord group. The links are in the description below. So please join in. The group is fire. I'm getting messages now. You heard that ding? That's the Discord message. So yeah, hit me up on Discord and I'll see you later. Peace.